our group will be discussing the topic of law of case of mistreatment by Mario Dandi against David Ozora. First, will be introduction the members of the group. I am Muhammad Edward and my friend Mana Sari Sibuat. And also Uchi Febriani. Our group will be discussing the case of Mario Dandi assaulting David Ozora. Check this out. Incident details. Date 20 February 2023. Time 8.30 pm GFT 7. Location Rumahan Green Permata Residence Jalan Sua, Dharma Raya Ujjani, Kecamatan Sangrahan, Jakarta Selatan. The background of Mario Dandi harassing David Ozora began when Mario met with his ex-girlfriend Anastasia Pretia Amanda at the bar in Kemang, South Jakarta on January 30, 2023. Amanda provided Mario with information about a gay relationship with David, who was David's ex-boyfriend. This information made Mario angry, and he then contacted David via WhatsApp to seek clarification but received no response. Mario also con contacted AK to confirm the information he received but was not answered by AK. This led to Mario becoming angry and questioning Aki's dignity as a woman. On February 20, 2023, Mario met with David and during this meeting, Mario, Aki, and Shane Lucas confront David at the Green Permata apartment where the harassment of David occurred. The next slide will be delivered by Lana Sari Hasibwa. Mario Dandi with chef with experimented assault on Chris Talino David Ozora, a 17 year old boy. The chef will based on Indonesia criminal law, especially under Article 353 and 350 of the Criminal Code KUHP, which covers serial assault and premeditated assault, respectively. The chapter we are from the Jakarta Salt District Court on June 6, 2023. Maria Dandi faced a potential 12 year prison sentence and was ordered to fight the restitution of IDR 120 billion to the victim. Next. The prosecution. Maria Dali was charged with premeditated assault on Cristalino David Azora, a 17 year boy, which resulted in the victim suffering brain damage and temporary paralysis. Maria Dali was sentenced to 12 years in prison on the to pay and rest to restitution of IDR 25 billion to the victim. The court determined that there were no mitigating factors to warrant damnation. Agreeing to the prosecution demand for a 12 year prison crime, Maria Dani claimed that he assaulted. David after opposing him of Mr. Tim, his, his, his sister, who is, in fact, Mario Glowfriend, according to her documents. Mario Glowfriend, who was 15 at the time of the incident, is currently serving a 3.5 year prison sentence at the at Juvenile Correctional facility for her complicity in the assault. Maria Dandi is also a patient a second in the man related to a great sexual abuse of his underage girlfriend. Chat for day, Mario Dandi was sentenced to 12 years in prison. 
he was ordered to pay 25 billion in restitution. The judge found Mario Dendi guilty of carrying out a premeditated, aggravated assault. There were no mitigating factors to run leniency leading to the 12 year prison term. The restitution amount was significantly lower than the initially demanded 120 billion, reflecting Mario's adult responsibility for his action. The assault led to the victim David Ozara suffering brain damage and temporary paralysis. Mario Gorfain, who was 50 at the time, is serving 3.5 year prison sentence for her complicity in the assault. Mario is also faking a second indictment related to alleged sexual abuse of his undergrad girlfriend. Conclusion The case of Mario Denny, son of former tech official Rafael Alun Trisambudo, highlights the seventy of aggravated assault and the legal consequence faked by Taos involved Mario Dendi was sentenced to 12 years in prison for the assault on 17-year-old David Ozara, with no mitigating factor considered. The court's decision reflects the strict application of Indonesian law, particularly under Articles 353 and 300. 55 of the criminal code, which cover serious assault and premeditated assault respectively. The case also exposed the wall of Mario father Rafael Alun, leading to public scrutiny and the suspension of Rafael from his position at the finance ministry. This incident underscores the importance of transparency and accountability in public service, as well as the potential for legal action against public official was well and lifestyle rights, suspicion of conversion or legal activity 145. <laughs>